everyone, welcome to today's video and welcome back to my channel and most importantly, happy December 31st. So I was trying to figure out what I was gonna do for my last video of 2020. Normally at the end of every year, I do a kind of roundup video of a montage of my favorite parts of the year, the most significant parts of the year. And this year, there's not really been many. So I decided that I'm just gonna piece together my favorite parts of the year, the things that have been good, the things that I have enjoyed. And this is isn't gonna be, you know, a whole chat about kind of the like personal growth and things that I've had this year because I feel like you don't really need to hear that. So we're keeping it light and I'm just gonna share with you my favorite things of the year, whether that be something as simple as like a lipstick or do you know what I mean? Just because I really want to do a video to signify the end of 2020 and I don't even know how I'm kind of planning to go ahead in 2021. If you'd like me to do a video on that, I can sit down tomorrow and kind of talk about it, maybe on my vlog channel. I'll link my vlog channel down below. But yeah, it's still like a work in progress because I'm kind of unsure how I'm supposed to plan for a year where I'm not entirely sure what we are allowed to do. You know what I mean? So if you wanna hear that whole ramble, I mean, I'm more than happy to do it. Probably not on this channel, cause I'm trying to keep things a bit happier over here. So if you wanna hear that, let me know in the comments and it would be on my vlog channel. But today I'm gonna to talk you through my favorites of 2020. This is right back in January, all the way through the things that this year that I've loved and that I'll be carrying through into 2021. Also, it would be amazing if you could give this video a thumbs up. And I never ask this, but if you do enjoy my videos, make sure you turn my notifications on because I ask questions occasionally on my community tab and you only get notified about that if you have my notifications on so if you want to be involved in any of my videos or have any say on any like you know what I'm gonna upload or I've got kind of sneak peeks of things it will be on the community tab and yeah if you want to be notified make sure you turn my notifications on by clicking the bell are you ready to hear my favorites of 2020 I've also got an espresso this is a favorite 2020 but I've had this for about four years and it's still a favorite so <laughs> I forgot one of my favorites so I've just bought it in <laughs> okay so there is so many random things from beauty to kind of treatments to like things like there's everything so it's gonna be a long one grab your tea grab your coffee grab your water drink your water and I'm trying to think of what I'm gonna go with first. I'm gonna start with a recent favorite, and that is this. If you watch my Vlogmas, you will have seen this set a ton. But it's not just this kind of set, it is loungewear sets in general. So back before the whole kind of, you know, staying at home thing, I didn't really have that many lounge, well, I had no loungewear sets, kind of matchy-matchy. I would just throw on a random pair of joggers, a random hoodie, and if I left the house, I looked a bit of scruff, to be honest. So it all started when I got a yellow set. It was like a Nike yellow set, and then I got a Nike kind of stone set and then I got this this is from Urban and it is just the comfiest coziest jogger set and I look so put together when I wear it because it matches so I could be lounging around the house in this and then be like oh gosh I need to go and do my weekly shop and go to the supermarket and although I'm in joggers it looks like I actually thought about my outfit so if I shove this on with like some Air Force or some Converse it doesn't look too bad you know what I mean like so it's a bit more of a balance than me going out in old random joggers and looking like a bit of a scruff I mean I guess I could combat that by wearing leggings like I love my Lulu leggings but I don't think leggings as comfortable as something like this where you just feel so cozy so yeah my first favorite of 2020 is matching loungewear sets and i will link this one down below from urban i have another set if you watch my what i got for christmas video so if you got me another set like this but different tie-dye because i just don't take it off this is what i put on when i get home from like whatever i'm doing in the day if i've been allowed out and i change into this i'll like shower change into this and then i'll like eat my dinner and things and chill in this and then i will then put my pajamas on so yeah I love. I feel like we should probably go with a thing I kind of threw in the background and that is my dried flowers. So these are from a florist in East London called Grace and Thorn. They do just like fresh flowers as well, but I don't even know how I discovered them. Oh, I Googled it. I was Googling for dried flowers because I needed some for a shoot and that's these ones. And I just found this florist. They have the most beautiful arrangements. I've gifted them to friends for Christmas, birthdays, ever since. And these will last me forever if I look after them. And that to me is just brilliant because I love having flowers around my house. I love having like, you know, just a beautiful display, maybe in like the background of a Zoom call for work or just to kind of brighten my day. And flowers last like a week and a half, two weeks. Whereas this, I haven't had to kind of repurchase. I haven't had to water it. And it just really works really well for my lifestyle. Style. So that is a solid favorite. I also bought a wreath from them for Christmas I don't think I actually showed you guys that but it is stunning So I will link again grace and thorn down below But they are my go-to now for gifting people and they are my go-to like I bought my like I said the wreath straight from there Didn't even think about going anywhere else 
gloves and yeah, I love them. So I've got some fashion bits. I'm gonna start with the shoes first and I feel like 2020 was the year that I rediscovered my love for Converse. I used to live in Converse when I was a teenager. I had the white ones, the high tops and they used to ruin my feet. I don't know why. Maybe I just didn't wear the right socks or maybe I got the wrong size. Looking back, I don't really know how. But earlier in the year, I got a pair of green Comme des Garcons Converse. They're a bit muddy. Sorry about that. That's a bit gross. But I love these. I feel so cool in them. I wore them a ton and then I managed to get my hands on these. These are the natural Converse. They're like a kind of, yeah, a, a nudie kind of natural color. These are actually sold out everywhere at the moment, but I'll try and find somewhere that has them because there's a few places that occasionally they restock. These are amazing. I love these so much. And then for Christmas, I got a pair of pink ones. So these at the moment are down to like 36 pounds. And if you're a student, you can get 20% off on top of that. So yeah, if you are looking for a new pair of Converse, order from the actual Converse site because they have so many on sale and you get a student discount. I'll link this particular color down below, but Sophie got me these for Christmas because the model that, that had the like the tie-dye loungewear set had these on and bless her heart, she went scouring the internet for the specific color that the, girl, the model had on and she got me these. And I have just been wearing these a ton. Like this year for me has been very much like a jeans and a hoodie kind of year or jeans and a jumper like a, a piece of knitwear which you will see following and I just think this is a really fun way to kind of jazz up like a jeans and a top outfit but also I've been loving I have these trousers from Zara they're like full length kind of boot cut trousers that are like skinny all the way up the leg and something like this popping out of the bottom just looks so cool and they are so comfortable don't get me wrong I love my like you know designer shoes or more like kind of beautiful shoes but this is such a great kind of middle ground of practical but really cool at the same time I really do want to get the black Comme de Garçon ones but I can't really justify it right now because I've literally got three pairs of Converse in the last six months so I definitely don't need them but maybe they'll be on my birthday list in April sticking with the fashion theme I have a new favorite clothing brand and this has been like definite growth for me within like fashion and it is and other stories are we surprised if you watch my channel I adore and other stories so it all started back in like April May time I've got quite a few items of clothing to show you so I'm just gonna like run through it really quickly but if you want to see anything more in detail it will be linked down below so the kind of the dress that kind of started it all was this this is a white linen dress now I couldn't get hold of this for a few months but it was this that kind of hooked me because it's so simple and so plain but also something that I know I really wanted in my wardrobe so it's just like a wrap dress that's the first one it needs an iron sorry and then it was these linen trousers I didn't kind of expect these to fit properly and I was just a bit like ordered them on a whim and oh my goodness I ended up wearing these so much and I know next year I'm gonna wear these all the time and then it was this top this I wore every single day for about four months this is like it's like a linen blend t-shirt so it's way more comfortable I got this in a small and this just works tucked into like any pair of jeans any pair of trousers any shorts I genuinely could wear this every single day with no problem and if you are looking for basics I think this is around 16 pounds so not the cheapest but also I don't think you know ridiculous but this honestly is worth the money I would purchase this over and over again this is one of those items if I didn't have it in my wardrobe anymore I'd be straight out to repurchase it so I love this it's so soft again on the t-shirt front as we came into summer I got one of their vests I also have this in white and in like a pinky color again they're just so easy to wear and they're things that I just didn't have in my wardrobe before but they just feel like such nice quality and then this linen shirt I only got to wear this a few times in the summer but again it's something that when I wore it I just felt so put together and just a little bit more grown up than I previously felt and then the knitwear I just have three of these to show you but honestly I could rave about and other stories knitwear for hours. This is the first one and I'm sure maybe if you like watch my vlogs or my Instagram you see me wear this. I love to wear this over jeans. It covers my bum, covers my hips. It's not itchy. We love. And then I got this tie wrap cardigan in grey and this just with a pair of jeans is lovely or a smart pair of trousers. Again, even with shorts. They have this in like every single colour as well. I think this is about £29. And then this baby, this is just gorgeous it's a black jumper and I find knitwear really awkward and it's only this year that I've really started to invest in my knitwear collection because I realized I wear it a lot so I've been wearing this pretty much every other day for the last like month tucked in with jeans with skirts and tights over a dress there are so many ways you can wear this I've got a beautiful pair of cream jeans that I love to wear this with and they just work I just love clothes that just work I can wear these over and over again these are such amazing quality that they are going to last me for years and years and now I've invested in a really really nice back jumper and now I don't need to buy another one. This is gonna last me until like, you know, I grow out of it or for some reason I just wear it too much to the point where it gets, you know, 
old. So those are my fashion faves. The next one, which isn't really an item, so I can't necessarily show you, but it's a treatment and it's laser hair removal. So I've had laser hair removal. Actually, oh my gosh, I have two treatments. Laser hair removal, I've been doing on and off for years, but really this year I was like, wow. So I have had my underarms done over the years, my lower legs, but this year I decided to go and get my Hollywood. And oh my goodness, as someone that get used to get like bikini waxes, Hollywood waxes, I was still super nervous to get laser down below because I was like, is it gonna kill? I spoke to a few people about it, they were like, Emily, it's fine. And it was fine. It was a bit painful, but it was, you know, it wasn't anything I couldn't deal with. But I had one session before the first lockdown. And when I tell you it was life-changing even after that one session, it honestly, oh my gosh, I'd recommend it to anyone and everyone. And then throughout lockdown, I used the brawn at home hair laser removal to kind of like keep going with my kind of process because I didn't want to completely stop. And then as soon as like everything kind of opened back up in the summer, I got back to my sessions. But again, the moment, I've stopped so I'm using the brawn one again but yes laser hair removal specifically getting Hollywood done has been a favorite of 2020 I look back now and I'm like uh, how how firstly did I even shave because the regrowth ouch and how did I get bikini waxes because you have to let it grow so long like with laser you like shave the night before and then you get it lasered off and then I'm not even kidding I after the first session had nothing grow back for five weeks. Five weeks! Oh, right, I can't even. I feel like a lot of you girls will like relate that getting rid of hair down below is just an absolute nightmare. And it's just, it's frustrating. It gets to a point where it's painful and it's never like clean and smooth. Well, no, laser has changed my life. And I did some kind of working out cost-wise because I was, I'll, I'll link my vlogs down below about laser if you're like interested. But I worked out that if I were to buy a like bikini wax every like six weeks like I was doing or every five weeks. Whereas if I bought a set of laser sessions, it actually worked out cheaper to get laser and there's way more longevity. So yeah, honestly, life changing. Following on from that, something that I wasn't gonna mention, then I thought about it and I'm like, heck yeah, is microblading. Oh my goodness life-changing like my eyebrows are so different they are so easy to handle i now know so easily how to care for them where to pluck them where not to pluck them they're so balanced so even i genuinely think it's changed my face I feel like i couldn't mention favorites of 2020 without mentioning that because i look back at videos from like last year and i'm like why did no one tell me to go and fix my eyebrows like they weren't bad but they were just so unbalanced and now i look at them and i'm like oh they're so much better even though they're not perfect they're still you know but that's just it's a bit of character isn't it on some beauty bits and then i have a bag to show you at the end so oh there's so many i'm gonna start with a hair product this is the garnier hair food i have really got into using this this year this has become like a routine to me this is like a relatively new one as you can probably see but i adore this it's something that i'm using at the moment every single week it's great like when i was going out and about before lockdown i used to use it and i'd like kind of smooth my hair into a low bun and i'd wear that to like the gym or if i was like on a flight or something like that honestly even if you're like not gonna wash your hair the next day. If you just put a tiny bit in your hand and kind of smooth your flyaways, it's so multi-purpose and so affordable. So this is a total favorite. I am really making the effort to try some new hair products out. I've got one on the way that someone actually recommended me on TikTok randomly. So I'll let you know how I get on with that. It's supposed to be like a drugstore equivalent to like Olaplex. I'm sure a lot of you kind of know what I'm talking about, but we'll try it. Next up we have the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Water. This is a facial tan and I love this firstly because you can use it under makeup over makeup you can use it at night what i tend to do is i'll put my night skincare on and then i'll just kind of spritz this all over my face it's a really kind of long spritz so it's like it goes like shh. it's a really well distributed spray and it gives such a nice color i used to love the l'oreal overnight elixir i used to rave about it now not only was that kind of messy and it like left a guide color but they actually discontinued it <laughs> so can't use it anyway. This has been my replacement for that and I would buy this over and over again. It, when you look at the price, you're like, okay, that's, you know, an investment, but this lasts for ages, absolutely ages. So, and I use this every single day. Next up, I've got a couple of skin products. These are what I've been using pretty much every day on my skin, unless I try and like change it up. But we have the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder in the shade six and the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer in the shades three N, three N one sand. I mix these together. 
This isn't really my colour, but I really like the texture of it and I like how kind of moisturising and fresh it is. Whereas this is exactly my colour and I think I find it a bit kind of like if I wanted to cover my whole face with this, I'd have to use a lot of it. I think I kind of use this to bulk it up a bit because my skin's kind of been really nice to me this year, so I don't need much coverage, but I love both of these. Maybe I need to try a different colour in this because it's not perfect, but if you have a kind of, I don't want to say like my skin's like green undertoned, but this foundation has like a greeny undertone and it works so well with my skin. There's only like one other foundation that I found the perfect shade in, so yeah, to have found the perfect shade and it be a gorgeous consistency is just spot on. I've got a couple of mascaras. These are more kind of end of 2020 favourites and it is the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. This is like so volumizing. and then we have the telescopic which is lengthening. Today I only have the telescopic on my lashes. That is the only thing I have on. I don't have any like waterproof mascara underneath, anything like that. Just the telescopic and one layer. I know. So I've been loving these as like a, a duo. I love to layer them and I also love to kind of, like I said, I'll put like a waterproof base on and then I choose. I'm like, do I want length today or do I want volume? And yeah, these are my go-to and they are drugstore mascaras. You do not need expensive high-end mascaras. I mean, you can go for it, but this is very comparable to the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It gives that same kind of mega volume, like without it being clumpy because we don't like clumpy mascara. So I would highly highly recommend both of these. Still on the theme of lashes, I raved about these in my sister swap video. They are the Laura Mercier lash curlers. I really struggle with having super flat lashes. I did a lash routine maybe like two years ago where I showed how I curled my lashes and made them stay up all day. As someone who, if I don't curl my lashes and I just put mascara on, they don't move and they just go out straight and if I curl them and then put mascara on they just tend to flop so I have this whole routine but this has made it so much easier. I think these are £20 so I mean I don't think that's crazy because if you use them every single day it's definitely worth it but they are just the best lash curlers I've ever tried. I used to swear by the Shimura ones and then I tried these and they are life-changing. I have three different pairs of these. I have one here, I have one in my travel makeup that used to be like my makeup in London and then I have a pair in LA and then Sophie now has a pair. So in the house we have four pairs of these and they are phenomenal. Another beauty fave is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Floors Finish Powder. This actually stays in my bag which is why it has a little powder puff in. This is Kat Von D one but this is shade two and this is just the best powder, like the best overall facial powder. I used to love the True Match one and I used to love the, oh my gosh, it was a MAC one. Was it just like the mineralized skin finish? I think, potentially. But anyway, this blows them all out of the water. It is phenomenal. I bought the lighter shade in my haul week back in November? Or was that December? I think November. I bought shade one to try and use that kind of under my eyes and things. It works perfectly. But yeah, shade two, I keep in my bag just for top ups and everything throughout the day and it's great. And also the packaging is so luxe. A skincare fave has to be this. This is the Garnier Organic Oil. This is the Multi Restore Sleeping Oil. I feel like I talk about facial oils quite a lot. I'm a really big fan of them. I have another one of these literally in my drawer back here. I feel like I've spoken about this before in this exact way. I feel like that was like deja vu. Let me know if I have. But anyway, this is not only amazing for your face and you wake up feeling super hydrated and your skin is brilliant, but it's also super multi-purpose. So when I was traveling for work earlier in the year, I would take this, put it on my face at night, and then I'd wake up in the morning and realize I've got a shoot and I've got to get my legs out and I have like no moisturizer. So I'd use this. And a little goes such a long way. Like I can moisturize my whole, both of my legs with like four pumps of this, which means it doesn't get wasted. And if my hair's feeling a bit dry, I would put a little bit of this on my hair. I just love multi-use products and products that actually work and don't break the bank. So this is a solid winner. Like I said, I have them dotted around and this is gonna be something that will be staying in my collection for the foreseeable future. And finally on the beauty front, I have two lip products. I feel like I've really kind of found myself with what lip products I like now. Now I used to wear Velvet Teddy from MAC all the time with a specific MAC lip liner, which was Whirl. And I still love that combo, but I've really learned to love liquid lipsticks because you don't really need a lip liner for them and they last all day unless you're gonna eat and drink. And these are my two faves at the moment. So up there, number one is Bow and Arrow by Kat Von D. This is a brand new one that I'm so excited to crack open. These last for so long, like as in on your lips in the daytime and also the product lasts for so long. And then this is a new find. This is Fenty Beauty Uncuffed, I believe. Yes, it's slightly more pinky as you can see, like the Kat Kat Von D one's way more nudie and the Fenty one is way more pinky. I really like the applicator on the Fenty one. It's a, it's a really strange shape, but Rihanna's definitely kind of 
thought about it and it works really well. So yeah, these are my two fave lipsticks at the moment. They're not drying. I mean, I've got a little bit of lip balm on at the moment because I knew I was drinking my coffee and I was like, oh, maybe it'll stop it rubbing off. But yeah, they are fabulous and I would highly recommend both of them. I think maybe what I'm gonna do, I'll leave below in the description box a post of all my favorite lip products in one place because there's probably about 10 of them, maybe not even that, maybe like eight, that I religiously wear and religiously use and repurchase. So I'll I'll make that a thing just so you can kind of have a nosy. And then onto the bag. So you actually saw me unbox this earlier in the year and I bought the Prada re-edition in black. Now this was a bit of a, I don't know, like not a risk, but yeah, I guess a risky decision because I'm not the edgiest person in the world. However, I have my moments. And I think if you follow my Instagram or you followed me on here for a while, you'll know that my style, my image is very like, dependent on my mood and what I wake up feeling like. So today I'm wearing this gorgeous little Jack Wills knit dress with, you know, a gorgeous necklace and a bit girly, got my curls. But then tomorrow I might wake up and wanna wear mum jeans and Converse and a baggy t-shirt with this. So it's very dependent. And it was like, I bought this and there was, you know, maybe a little tinge of me that's like, is this going to fit in with my fashion? And oh my gosh, it does without a doubt. So not only is this brilliant because it is absolutely hands-free, so you don't have to like, really touch anything which is great because you know the world right now but in this pocket i keep can you guess hand sanitizer so that's just perfect and i just like even on this with this dress which isn't particularly well it's not edgy at all it still doesn't look out of place so i love like a bag that I could put under things. My real love at the moment are like duvet coats. So I would wear my outfit, put this on and put my duvet coat over this. So the bag doesn't get wet if it rains, it doesn't get damaged. It fits so much in, I can fit, you know, vlog camera, I've got a spare vlogging battery in here. Vlog camera, lip products, house keys, car keys. I don't know, like cards, everything I need in here. And it's not crazy heavy, it's, yeah, I can't even get over how much I love this bag. And it really was one of those things because it's so different for me that it was either gonna be like hit or miss and it is such a win and I can't get over how much I've used this, how it still looks in such phenomenal condition. I mean, obviously I take very good care of it, but you know, there's no scuffing, it doesn't look old, it's aged, you know, super well. And I've worn this, like this is, definitely without a doubt been my most worn bag of 2020 and I genuinely love it and I feel super cool whenever I wear it even with like the tie-dye loungewear I'll put that on this on my uh, air force and like that's my outfit to go to the shop and to go do my shopping do you know what I mean it's just such an easy bag I'm really really glad that it's got as much use as it has because it makes me feel confident in my purchase and that you know it was expensive so I feel like I made a good decision so those are all of my favorites for 2020 I'm sure I could come up with a million more but I wanted to kind of, you know, we'll condense it down a little bit. I'll link everything down below so you can have a little nosy. But I hope your 2020 has brought you some kind of joy in some way or some kind of, you know, growth. And if not, that's fine. It's just amazing that, you know, we've got through it. It's been a really challenging time for everyone in such completely different ways. So I'm hoping 2021 brings us some more freedom, some more hope, some more light. And just, I have this whole vision in my head of like springtime when all the flowers start to kind of blossom and everyone's had the vaccine and it's all gone away and we all come out of our homes and it's sunny and like the flowers are like out and we all live our lives again. And it's gonna make me cry to say it out loud, but I'm just, that's my, my hope, like my hope was New Year's and then obviously it's all been ripped away. So now the thing that I'm kind of clinging on to is that image in my head, which I know is a very romanticized <laughs> like movie style image of like life, but it's keeping me going. So I'm gonna roll with it. But anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this. If you'd like me to do that whole kind of transition 2020 into 2021 ramble on my vlog channel, then let me know. But yeah, please give this a thumbs up if you liked it. If you made it to the end, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to turn those notifications on. 2021, we're gonna try and change things up a bit and I will see you at some point soon. Bye.